I want to get some uh, analysis, some breakdowns, some reactions. Uh, first off, across the street, Charlo and Castaño are rematching. What do you make of that rematch? Uh, I love the rematch. The first fight was great. Uh, it's it's a rematch that uh, the whole Puerto Rico podcast cast. We all think that Canelo is going. Excuse me, I said Canelo. <laughs> You're thinking about Canelo already. <laughs> we all think that Charlo is going to make some adjustments and win the fight. Um, however, I was watching the press conference on my phone. And Castaño looks very comfortable. And that's m how I feel. A happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. So we'll see what happens. But we, we all said on the Puerto Rico podcast that uh, this is Charlo's fight. So no reneging. <laughs> no, no, it is because he heard him in the fight, the first fight, multiple times. And essentially, that's what I think. I think that he heard him twice in the fight, once yeah. late. Yeah, and, and once early. And once early, yeah. and I think late is going to come sooner, and once he sees it, he's going to go for it. Uh, kind of a vintage con Charlo move there. Yeah, uh, yeah that's right, because uh, with the Harrison one, he kind of not coasted, but like it was, Harrison was winning, and then pop, yeah. he got him out. Yeah, so I, I, I think Charlo makes adjustments. He fights a little different, and he wins this one. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, it's hard not to be... A uh, support of Castaño understanding, you know, with his size and his abilities, where all the possibilities are out there. Yeah. When I think about that and I think about me and put myself in that position, I'm like, yo, he's gonna pull this off again. Castaño. Respectfully, he's not me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so I know that, um, you know, it's just a little different. But if he's more defensively conscious, he's, he's gonna do better, right? Like. And, like, that style is a tough style for Jamel. The style is a tough style for Jamel. Yeah. I, I, you know, if you're Castaño, you don't change anything. Maybe maybe you, you push the gas pedal a little bit more in certain in certain points yeah, in the yeah. fight, but you essentially, you don't be st flat-footed all of a sudden. You don't all of a sudden run around. You, you fight with that same tempo and rhythm that you fought with before and win the fight. Talking about the Charlo Castaño 2 rematch, uh, you feel that uh, Charlo's gonna win. Yeah. I had told you that uh, that style is really bad for uh, Jermel. Mm -hmm. Given that, you feel he doesn't pull the upset, but how likely is it that he does pull the upset? How likely? Oh, great question. Yeah. For Castaño, yeah. it would still be an upset for Castaño, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, if I had to rank it, on a scale of one to ten, how likely? How likely? Six, seven percent. Yeah, there's a sixty, seventy, seventy percent chance. That's a pretty damn good chance. Yeah, sixty, seventy percent. Wow. Okay. I just don't see. I don't see. Or, okay. So here, this is this is how I, how I look at it, and I think there's gonna be some fire in the corner of Charlo now. If he starts to fight the way he did last fight. Or if he intends to sit back and, and wait to find his timing, he'll never find it, and he'll lose the fight. Charlo has to be aggressive. Charlo does not have to. I, when I talk about fighters being like, you don't have to be like Sean Porter. I'm not telling you to fight like me, but you have to be in the, in that face. You have to be using a good jab, a good double jab. You have to be stepping towards your guy, making him feel your presence. And I don't think Charlo did that in the first fight. I, th I, I had Charlo losing the fight, but I thought that a draw was, it was, it was fair. Um, and I think that Charlo will win the rematch, but Charlo has to step up. He has to be aggressive, not just from a standpoint of stand throwing punches, but from a standpoint of being active and a lot and making Castaño feel his presence. Let me throw a fork in the cogs. I text you after that fight, thinking, hey, that's a bad style for Charlo. You move up, Sean. <laughs> I like your chances against Jermel. Yeah. I'm going to throw that cock back in there, man. You yeah. Look at that and think, like, I can be undisputed champion at 154 pounds. Uh, I honestly think at one point I did look at that. Um, quickly uh, trumped by thoughts of where, where I wanted to be. And honestly, man, I'm exactly where I want to be right now. Uh, those thoughts came. Those thoughts probably came during the pandemic when I was thinking about moving to 154. I went to my dad, say, hey, I want to move up. He says, no, you need to stay at 47. Okay. Um, but at that point in time, when I thought that I wanted to have that conversation, I said, man, I'll move up, I'll take that, I'll take that, boom, boom, boom. 
and you know kind of just reminded myself that that's not what I created or not created but that's not what my intentions were in boxing my, my, my intentions were never to be a multi weight multi division world champion um, honestly my goals were never to be a multi world champion the goal was to become a world champion and then um, I got a good understanding of what the green belt was and said I need that one too you know so I did all I wanted to do let's get back to who's fighting <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on fight up TV and give us a follow online as well at fight up TV on Twitter and on Instagram we appreciate it guys